Christmas, everyone. It's Christmas time. It's um, time to kind of talk about Christmas in July. Um, it's Roger and Victoria here from the Disney Kingdom podcast. And um, Victoria, you got to meet Santa today um, on this lovely hot summer's day. Um, what is Disney doing? <laughs> I don't get it. Um, yeah, this is going to be for a loop, too. So basically, um, Disney is trying to bring more events to Disney Springs. So it's July. They decided to bring Christmas in July to Disney Springs. Yeah. <laughs> and yeah. you get like they have a lot of stuff going on. Yeah, I mean, can they do an Easter egg hunt? You know, and you know, I, I mean, I know they want to start Halloween just after you know Memorial Weekend, but um, <laughs> there's part of me that was a little bit. This I, I saw this this on the on the Disney store or Disney blog, and I'm like, really? It's like, why? This is just feels like I know this. I mean, I have done. I know um, ourselves all about twenty or so years ago. My family we all work in ice cream. So we're all really busy in the, in the summer. We're completely broke in the winter. And Christmas is always this annoying thing in the middle of the winter when we've got no money. So one year we all went out to a pub and we all had a Christmas dinner with Christmas hats and we couldn't find Christmas puddings anywhere. And we did do the Christmas in July thing. So I have done it. Um, but I saw Disney doing it and I'm like, really? Why, why is this? It's like you're already... It's, I don't know. I mean, I, it's, I know the the Christmas stuff is coming into the shops in a couple of weeks' time in the end of August, but just it just, I don't know. For me, it just felt like, don't, please don't. I I feel like it was rough, to be quite honest, because, you know, I um, work in spring currently. So yeah. when I first walked in, when I got on my break, I, I go to Starbucks, you know, on my 15 to get me something to keep yeah. me going for the rest of my shift. And I look up, and the whole Black Horror special is like, Christmas themed stuff, and then I like it dawns on me like there's Christmas music playing. What is what is going on? Like it just seems so so strange, but I guess <clears throat> they're trying. It's yeah, <laughs> I mean it's good. I mean, as you know, having just thinking that I've got my gingerbread latte um, on the menu that um, I haven't put up there, but I've still got the gingerbread sauce. I probably could yeah chuck it up there and just try and sell a few more. Um, we have an advert over here for a uh, sort of. A, or like a drugstore kind of thing, boots, and they do it. They kind of change one of the words around. It's the most wonderful time of the year, kind of. But it's a. Li I'm just a little bit at a loss of why this one. I could understand it in the Christmas store. I could understand them having Santa there all year round for pictures and stuff. I could, um, you know, I've done it myself. You know, anytime you go there, you go to that store and you pick up some ornaments because you bring them out at Christmas. <laughs> but it's always fine to one little Christmas store. It's lovely. It's nice. You can go in there and it. But you can choose to go in there or not. It just feels a little bit like Christmas music in Starbucks with, you know, your gingerbread lattes with your, um, you know, it, it, it's just odd. Yeah, I, I will admit, like like you said, I'm, I'm a big fan of Christmas in July. Maybe if they kept it just specifically to the store, it would have worked better. But it really just doesn't work because, I mean, with Disney, you know, you kind of get a sense of immersion with a full experience with in springs there's not even really that many decorations like there's yeah. not even really christmas decorations besides the fountains and yeah you get to go to candy cauldron get some treats have they literally gone right across the whole disney springs and have they but cheaply yeah i i personally didn't see any really except on the fountain okay because i mean i can understand the thing of trying to boost up the christmas store i can understand that and you know doing a special event in there and maybe doing something in the shop next, you know. But, yeah, I mean, doing the fountain and stuff, it just seems very, very odd. I mean, it, you know, maybe a one weekend thing only, but it seems a lot of, I don't know, it's just an odd one. Yeah, I, I wasn't completely sold, to be honest. I mean, I'm personally waiting for Halloween. So, I mean, I wasn't totally sold, personally. But Nashville yeah. was fun. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I mean, obviously, you know, Brits Halloween is not quite that thing. I know. I know the Americans go nuts for their, you know, pumpkin spice latte. The minute was it? Is it the first of August or the first of September when they start rolling out all the Halloween stuff? It really depends. Yeah, <laughs> it's. I don't know. It's it's an odd one. I think. I th it's going to be interesting how you know Star. I, I, I personally, as you know, I'd love to know what Starbucks how that's worked for them. Um, it's that weird thing of you know. They're, 
there was a trend I know of like over here where stores were getting Christmas stuff up earlier and earlier and earlier. You know, Christmas tree was going up in one of the department stores in August. Um, decorations were being put up in like mid beginning of September when you were starting university kind of thing. And gradually Halloween has pushed everything off a little bit, pushed it back um, because there was a kind of a thing of being, no, hold on, this is too early. Disney can probably get away with this, you know, this Christmas in July. Had it been a weekend only, is it is it a time event or is it the whole of July? Um, last day is July thirtieth. So they started it on the on the fifteenth, I believe. So it was gonna be like fifteen days. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. It's it's um it's an odd one. It's and but also by the sounds of it, they don't look like they've really gone hundred percent to town and it might it actually looks worse. Yeah, I mean I if they had decorated more, I would have been sold a little more, personally, to be honest. But at the same time, I can kind of see why they did it. It'll boost, you know. It's been a slow season for Disney Springs, so it boosts um, sales. You know, it's not going to be a busy time of year where, you know, the Christmas season is busy. So everyone can see Santa and get their Christmas shopping done, I suppose, mm. a few months early. I mean, that, I, I can see the intent was there, but the execution was there. Yeah, I mean... Bad. I mean, we were looking at the maps the other week of um, Disney Springs and that thing of since last time we were there, we were all there and it was downtown Disney. You know, it looks like, you know, there's a basically a whole new area that has been built up behind. And like it might have made more sense if they just focused that Christmas in like maybe in like one one small little area. But obviously Starbucks will always jump in on it. Oh, yeah, absolutely. I mean, I feel like if they... They did keep it to a few stores, which makes sense because it's all in one area. So they they did a good job with that. Santa's right close by. I they don't really have too many entertainment offerings besides Santa, a DJ playing Christmas music. That's mm. really all I noticed. Yeah, it's it just sounds a little bit. It was like a cheap little gimmick. Yeah, it was it was it was pretty forced. I will. Say. Yeah. Yeah, it was, I mean, I mean, even that, I mean, the Disney store have put all the Christmas decoration, all the baubles and stuff. They would look, the, even the Disney store was pushing, you know, Christmas in July with all the new Christmas range launching. I mean, I know it's not that far off, and um, but it's a, it's just very, very, I mean, it's very difficult when it is, like like you say, that it, it feels a little bit too forced. Yeah, it, it was... I mean, it was cute. I'll definitely say, like, all the little treats and stuff they had were cute. It's just, it could have been done a lot better. Yeah, yeah. Well, we'll let us know what you guys think of it. You know, get ready for Happy New Year and all of this kind of stuff. <laughs> um, and let us know what you got for presents this morning um, in the comments below. Be sure to hit that subscribe button. Remember, check us out over at DizKingdom.com. And you can also subscribe on the audio versions. And you can leave us a review there. Also, just a quick note as well. We are giving away a copy of Guardians. Um, of the Galaxy, the Telltale game as well over on the website. Victoria, where can they find you? They can find me on Twitter at he calls me PP and Instagram he calls me Pineapple Princess. And on that note, guys, ho, ho, ho!